Hello everyone, this is Elise here of Plan With Elise, and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Today is a video of a partnership that I am so beyond excited about. A couple of weeks ago, Levenger reached out to me and asked if they could share some products with me that I could share with you. This is my first experience with anything Levenger related, but what I'm so excited about is that it's a disc bound system. So I did open the box to make sure there was no confidential information and of course took off my shipping label, but let's put this to the side. Well, actually I'm just going to put, I'm just going to take all the stuff out and then get this box completely to the side. All right. So Let's start with this, first of all. Let's just look at how pretty this box is. Established 1987, that's the year I was born. It was meant to be. So this is a really gorgeous green box. And inside should be, I love the packaging. Okay, here we go. So this is the Circa Notebook. This is, I believe it's leather, it smells like leather. And it is customized with my initials on here. So it's, I don't know if it's called engraved when it's leather, but it's customized here. It looks like there's a little snag right there. Not a big deal, but it's a really beautiful light pink, which is pretty much what my branding colors are, like my logo and everything like that. These are clear discs. They're really small. They're probably about the size of Happy Planner mini discs. And then when we open this, the inside is black and has one large pocket here and two smaller pockets here. Then we have instructions. This is called the Circa system. So replacing the covers of your Circa notebook. Um, and it's a little bit of care to maintain the integrity of the Circa punched pages. So it looks like this is exactly the same way that you would replace them with Happy Planner where you lift it up like this instead of trying to pull it out sideways. So these are just detailed instructions on how to use this. And then because I'm not in need of a new planning system right now, one of the things that I am in need of is a work system. And for me, that means a notebook. Um, I typically just use note paper randomly and jot down notes throughout my work day. But this is perfect because it's clean, can sit on my desk. If I had an office, even though I don't have one, look at this lavender on the back, um, I would be able to kind of just have this. Not that you can't have your decorative covers or anything like that, but it's just a really clean, neat system. This is half letter size, so um, it's called junior size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight discs on here. If we were to compare it in size to a classic happy planner, this is the comparison, so just one more set of discs. And if we were to compare it to a mini-sized Happy Planner, this is the size. So it's right in between the two of those with eight discs. Also called half letter in disc-bound communities. Okay, so back to this notebook. Let's put these instructions right back in here. There are I would think that this is maybe about a hundred sheets. And then the back is just sort of a little pamphlet on everything Circa related. So customize it, accessorize it, systemize it. And there's notebooks and refills, the Circa Pro, Circa Discs, accessories, and the Circa Punches. And I also wanna talk about this paper. We'll go through that at the end, but I wanna do a pen test so we can kind of see how this paper compares, but this is the notebook. And then, like I said, this is going to be my new work system. So one of the items that I was really excited about is the Circa Starter Kit. And this is the junior size, meaning it's the size that fits the junior size notebook. So let's see what comes in here because it is the starter kit. So this kit includes everything you need to set up your Circa and have some fun while you do it. So let's see everything that's included in here. There's a lot. Okay, first up, 
I think that a starter kit is such a genius idea for a brand to be able to give you a little bit of everything that you need to get started. So first we have this ruler. It's seven inches and it has four punches in it. So you would put it in just like this and then you've got your bookmark at the top. So I really love when there's a ruler that's dual purpose because it also serves as a bookmark and I am always looking for my ruler and reaching for them. Then we have these discs. Let's get it. Oh my goodness, everything is falling today. Okay, let's slice this open. So these are black plastic discs. And I'm sure they are the, yeah, the same size as these. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I might need to switch out the discs on this. Let me know what you think if I should switch them. One out. Okay, and the discs have, if you can see, the tiny little leaf icon, Circa's logo, right on there as well. All right, now we have dividers. These are plastic white dividers, so one, two, three, four, five of them. So you can go through oops, and put these in. So maybe there'll be different categories for work or uh, months or things like that. So if we just put these through. So let's just do two of them for now. Then this is so exciting to me. So it comes with translucent covers. So you could purchase the starter kit and not the notebook and just get this set up. So let's actually do that since we can kind of show how to use this starter kit from scratch. So the best way I find to put new discs on a disc bound system is start with the covers. So then you have a sturdy surface to begin with. So we'll get these on. And I love the frosted cover and the inside is more of a glossy. Then we'll wanna take these dividers out and we'll put these right down in here. And as you can see, that's just like a really clean look. So move this over to the side. Let's get these in here. And the discs are barely moving. This is just the easiest, easiest way to switch out your discs and covers. And then let's see if maybe we can get these all down at once. Because these are plastic, they're not going to rip when you put them in. Like sometimes if you push too hard, the pages will rip, but I can tell these are already really durable because I'm pretty rough with, with my hands. And I know when something might rip otherwise. So we have the five dividers in here that come with the starter kit. And then there's these labels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So there are 16 labels. So you could take a sticker or like a lettered sticker and write down what you want or put this right on here. I don't know, these are glossy stickers. So I don't know in terms of writing on them. Let's see what kinds of pens we can test out to write on these. I think it'll probably be a situation where if you wanted to write, you might use a Sharpie versus a pen like um, an S gel. So I'm sure that that's not going to work. I'll test it in a second, but I have this Sharpie ultra fine retractable, which definitely should work. It might need a second to dry though. Let's see. Yeah. So the S gel smeared, but the Sharpie dried right away. What I would probably do is label these with a sticker. So I'm trying to see if I have something nearby that could be used. Um, let me look for something. All right, so you could definitely categorize these based on what you need, or you can label them for each month. So here's a November sticker. Since I'm setting this up for November, I could also put it, again, because this is plastic, it's not going to tear when you take this off. 
I could put this sticker over this one. And put this right on there. So either way would work just fine. Next is more of the filler. Oh wait, this might be a combination of filler paper. Let's see. So let me also open the information packet from this so I can make sure that I'm noting it right. Okay, so we have 10 annotated ruled sheets, which are these, where it has this set, this box over here, the lines, and then these two boxes. Then we have 10 full page ruled sheets. So it's a full page of lines. And then we have a things to do sheet. This I really love, and I'll probably purchase more because um, everything I do work-wise is task-based. So things to do, date, order, importance, and complete it. So I think what's great about being able to note these of order of importance is that sometimes you'll know a list of things you need to get done and then other things get added in there. So let's say I wrote down the top six things I needed to do and then something else came in and took priority. I could write that over here, but I could still number it as number one. And there's plenty of room here to write with. So these are front and back. So it has the five things to do sheet. So that's what in comes included in the Circa starter kit. You have the translucent covers, the five dividers, the eight discs, these 25 pages between annotated ruled, full page ruled, and things to do. The, where did it go? The ruler or page finder it's being called. This is the page finder and the labels for the tab dividers. So that is the starter kit. All right, let's put this aside for a moment and continue. Next up, we have the Circa Modern Annotator, fits junior and letter size. Is this two? This is two, okay. We are going to take this off. Might take me a moment. <laughs> there we go. All right, so there are two in here, which is really cool. And these are um, like a transparent, I think they're, they're transparent. Let's take one off. Transparent page flag. So yeah, you can see the line on my desk back here. And these also fit in both the junior size and the letter size. So you could put it up here just as another bookmark. This is like a really sturdy cardboard backing, but I love the ability to just stick this in your planner and grab the page flags as you need to. So that comes with a set of two. Next, is this desk getting messy? Should we move some things aside? Keep it clean over here. All right, now we have another set of modern tab dividers. So the previous dividers that came in the Circa starter kit were white solid or opaque, I guess. These are eight colored tabs. There are eight tabs, two each in four different colors for use in any junior size notebook, Circa notebook or planner, color code your to-dos, projects, and notes. So these would definitely, these are, let's see, we've got two. I need to put this over a white background so we can really see the colors. Okay. Here is like a dark brown, like a dark nude, then a fully clear one, a pale pink. You can see these up here. And this darker pink. So there are two of each of those colors. And of course I put these in the wrong side, but start out the notebook and pop these right in and they are translucent. And when you have it closed, you can't see the divider doesn't go beyond that section right there. So get each of these in. These are really easy to snap in. Um, I think 
these would be next, yeah. And there we go. And then we'll just continue with these four right back here. And this also comes with eight labels, one for each section. So again, I would recommend using either a label maker or a permanent marker like I did with the Sharpie on these because other markers or pens are gonna take a little bit longer to dry and they might smudge. So permanent is definitely the way to go. And then just getting these babies labeled. I also, I think I said this about the starter kit dividers, but I really like that these are plastic because they're sturdy and heavy duty. Oh wait, I put this in the wrong order. And you can move the labels as you want, right? Because even if your needs change label-wise, you can just replace them. So we'll get each of these down and then kind of see how it all looks together. Okay, look at that. Nice and clean. I'm gonna take out this introductory page. All right, so nice and clean with these labels. And the way that I would use them is probably like um, clients and then like meeting notes, billing notes, social media, things like that. Um, I work for an agency and so my job varies all day, every day. And so being able to categorize things will be really helpful for me. I probably don't need all eight sections. So I might just do four or maybe five once I sort of figure out exactly what my needs are. Or again, you could do these throughout the months. So even though there are eight and not 12, I could do like November, December, and then go through the rest. And then once a month passes, I can just reuse it because we'll just move things around. The stickers are really easy to take off. There's no damage to the sticker or the divider. And I don't necessarily need an entire year at once. So we'll just kind of rotate them as the year goes on. All right, the final item in this package is the Modern Checklist Pad Trio. So let's slice this open. Again, this is all part of the Circa collection, all available on levenger.com. It will be linked in the description. Okay, now we have three notebooks. So this is the Modern Checklist Pad Trio. We have, th oh, I love this. I love the tasks and the, look at these. We're gonna look closely. So two boxes up there, list of to-dos and the check boxes. We know that I love a good checklist. So this one comes in this same peachy pink that you'll see right here and is also part of my cover, plus the gray and the orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This has seven punches in it. So it's going to be a little bit smaller for this, but let's say I have a really busy day or a specific meeting with a lot of things to do. You could just pop this right in here and list out your to-dos. And this is front and back too. So there's a ton in here. I don't think it says exactly how many, but these are definitely a staple and I'm really glad that I have them. All right, shall we test out Lavender Paper? in terms of pen tests. So I'm going to grab a couple of my most used pens and we'll see how it works. All right, I brought you in a little bit closer for this so that we can do the pen test. So first up, I have my Papermate Flare. Let's just make sure I'm not too sideways on this. This isn't an every single day use pen for me, especially not for work because I can't write with it as quickly as I can. And my work notes, I don't care if they're sloppy. No one sees them. Um, I just toss them out af you know, after when they're not needed anymore. So it's not something that I need to be neat. 
Then we have Pilot Juice, 0. 0.5. This isn't a great pen. Skipping a lot. But it's not the paper. I think it's just the pen. It doesn't get a ton of use. Next up is the Paper Mate Inkjoy. This is a brand new pen, so I want to give it a, a chance to kind of write, up, write a little bit before <laughs> I test it on paper. All right, Paper Mate Inkjoy. I'm, kind, I'm going basically at the speed that I would work-wise. So this is a one millimeter. Then we have Sharpie S-Gel 0.5, which is maybe my favorite right now. Then Sharpie S-Gel 0.7, a little bit thicker. Now the Pentel Energel 0.5. And then just for fun, a Micron. This is a 02. Again, not a pen I would typically use for work. Okay, now I think we should also try out the Sharpie 0.38. If that is a typical go-to for me. It's a little bit scratchier. All right, so those are the pens I would most likely use. And let's look here. So it does look like most of them do ghost through a little bit. But if you were writing over them, You can't see and it's not a big deal and doesn't bug me. So I'm beyond excited about this to be my new work notebook. I also wanted to share something really exciting and I am going to throw a picture in here. Let's just zoom out for a second. That Levenger and the Emily Dickinson Museum have partnered to create two exclusive new products. We're going to get a picture up in here. Um, the em Emily Dickinson Notebook and the Emily, Emily Dickinson Pen. These are going to be available for pre-order on November 4th on Levenger.com. These are inspired by the collection of the Emily Dickinson Museum. The notebook and pen both feature the floral design of the wallpaper from Emily's bedroom in her family home in Amherst, Massachusetts. And a portion of the proceeds from the sales of these new products will be donated to the museum through the Levenger Partnering for Good program. So the notebook also features the original manuscript of Emily Dickinson's poem, Tell All the Truth, But Tell It Slant. All of these will be available for pre-order on November 4th on Levenger.com and all of these items, the gorgeous notebook cover. Oh, let's talk about the thickness, by the way. So right now I have this in here, plus the ruler, plus the dividers, and I think all of the original note paper. And it's a little bit tight. It, it's it's not overly filled, but I probably would remove some of the pages because I don't think I need as many and I don't want to overstuff it. I also really like the idea that you can take one of these notes pages and toss it in here. You could put in cards, business cards, um, maybe a company credit card or I don't know about that, but <laughs> business cards or of uh, yours or an associate that you want to add in there too. Does the back have any card slots? No, which makes sense because if the back was stuffed, then you wouldn't be able to write neatly. And again, the Circa overview. So let me know your thoughts. Let me also know if I should change this out to black and if you have an opinion there. So thank you so much for watching and thank you, Levenger. This is really exciting and I'm so excited to use this. I could just stare at and touch <laughs> this notebook all day long. Again, everything is available in the description of this video and at levenger.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe, and I will see you next time.